Let us continue with our lesson. And on the previous lesson, we have learned about the primary constructor in our Kotlin. And in this lesson, let's go and learn about the secondary constructor in a Kotlin. So let's get started. So we have created a primary constructor over here. So what I will do is I'll just create a secondary constructor. And uh, we have we have already created a primary constructor. That's why it's giving an error, which says a primary constructor called explicitly. So what we can do is we can just remove this part from here uh, or just cut it. And let's come down over here and just paste it. So here it says that the valve on a secondary constructor is not allowed. So what we'll do is we'll just remove this part valve, right? Just remove the valve again from here and again from here. Now, if you see notice here, we have some error over here, right? So which we are getting a error over here. And uh, now what we'll do is we will have to make use of this property over here. So just copy this and remove the this part. And now what I will do is I'll just say, let's create our default one, zero, and this is also as an empty string. And now I can say as this dot, which is of a color, is equals to color. So this dot color means the property that we have, the class property, and the color is the parameter we are passing from our constructor, secondary constructor. And uh, we can also say that this dot engine number is uh, equals to let's say uh, engine number, and uh, finally this dot, and we have a CC is equals to CC. And now, which means that this property we have assigned, we have assigned the value in our constructor. The value we are getting is from the constructor property or constructor parameter. And this CC we should print out as a CC over here. And if you go to the class over here, we are passing the same parameter over here, which is the class constructor. We don't have to change anything here. Only in our class, we are changing the primary constructor as a secondary constructor. So this is a secondary constructor that we have created in our class. And uh, previously, if we are declaring directly in our class constructor is a, that should be a primary. So this is a secondary, which is inside the class and directly on the class header it should be of a primary constructor so if we declare a constructor over here that will be of a primary constructor and the constructor that we create inside the class body it is a secondary constructor so it's always good practice that we create a primary constructor but sometimes we can make use of a secondary constructor too and uh, if we run this project or let's run it and let's go to the run section and let's wait for everything to finish up i think it should be somewhere here and you can see that printout is the same and if you change the color from red to white and if you run it again that should clear it out everything for us and let's go and check it to the run and let's go and check the colors we are creating the white so that's printing out perfectly so we don't have any error so we just have changed the primary constructor to a secondary constructor so that's all for this lesson uh, let's continue with our lesson in the next video till then have a great day